Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Isaiah from Unity Fire Missions, and the verse of today could be found in Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse 23, and it reads as follows. Whatever you do, whatever your task may be, work from the soul that is put in your very best effort as something done for the Lord and not for men. Father God, thank you. May the words that proceed out of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto thee. In Jesus' mighty and majesty, name I pray. Amen. Now the word that the Lord has permitted me to release to you today is called extreme pessimism. You see, extreme pessimism is when someone has the worst thought of the worst case scenario and they believe that the worst is going to happen. You know, the Bible says that we may and have to renew our minds daily in order for us to have the mind of Christ, right? And he said that we need to work as on to the Lord and not on to men. You see, the problem is we continue to believe in the opinions of men and not the opinion of God. You know, the only way to understand the opinion of God is to get in his word. The only way to understand the opinion of God is to get in line with his spirit. And when you develop a relationship with the father through the son, empowered by the Holy Spirit, you understand the assignment that he has sent you to do. So it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter um, their opinions. It doesn't matter if they think lowly of you. God thinks highly of you. And so um, you need to begin to see a bright future. You need to begin to see that God has great things in store for you. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, for I know the plans that I have for you. I being God knows the plans that he has for you. Plans for good and not for evil. Plans to give you a future. Plans to give you an intended end. But we have to remove this mind that uh, developed extreme pessimism because this carnal mind causes us to doubt God. This carnal mind causes us to be faithless. This carnal mind uh, begins to deteriorate and think that God doesn't have a purpose and a plan for why you were created here on this earth in the first place. So we need to begin to understand our value and worth through Christ Jesus. He loves us. We are his children. We are joint heirs with Christ. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. When you start taking that mind of extreme pessimism out of your mind and put on the mind of Christ, you can develop a surety. You can develop being encouraged. You can develop that you are empowered by the Lord. You can develop strength and motivation because you know that it's not you that's giving you the strength. It's God that's giving you the strength and you're doing all that he has called you to do for his glory and not for men. This is the word that the Lord has permitted me to release to you today. It's called Extreme Pessimism. It'll be on all my major platforms, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Threads. Follow me as I follow Christ. Salute.